evening. Uh, how many people were not here last week? Okay, not too many. So before I ended the meeting, or we ended, or partner ended the meeting last week, I mentioned that I wanted everybody to understand, I wanted everybody to, to know that we will continue to work on this thing. And last week's, or last meeting wasn't just a conversation, and we forget about it until the next time. I wanted everyone to know we're working on it and uh, doing our best to come up with a solution that's sustainable, that works and is sustainable. So uh, I've, I've put together three options. They're, they're, they're parking related. And the first two are probably not sustainable from a financial perspective, but I'm gonna put them up here anyway. Now, if you get mad when you see these things, the guy who the guy who put this together is standing back there. I'm just presenting it. Deputy Chief Chris Benavidez uh, is back there. Raise your hand, Chris. That's the guy to throw the darts at. Um, no, seriously, uh, Chris uh, was the captain assigned to the emergency emergency management. Um, Center, the EOC, EOC, the Emergency Operations Center, um, on the, that's next to the uh, call center, and he worked there for a number of years, and he's a big project guy, and he put this together for me, and I asked him to, to take a look at it and map it all out. He's been the, uh, the uh, ops coordinator for, uh, the incident commander for the Final Four and a lot of big events here in the city, so he knows how to put this stuff together. Uh, we've got our safe officers back there. Raise your hand, guys. Got them back here as well, and everybody who's familiar with the city. And I, I just want to comment real quick before I do this, just only take a minute. But I just want to comment on, on some of the, uh, Carol, your, your concerns about the noise, and man, your concerns about the noise. In, in my humble opinion, I'm not sure what we're studying. The noise is coming from the strip as they come back in the neighborhoods. There's your study. <laughs> I, you know, and I'm not sure, again, it, it's, it's, it's the two worlds of the commercial community and the world of the community, uh, so the residential community are, are colliding here, and that's what we're trying to fix that. I don't know what the study is gonna be, but anyway, that's my study. Um, so these are all the issues we talked about. These, you know, yes, uh, last, week, last meeting I mentioned that there's two issues that everybody's concerned about. And I wanted to make sure I was identifying them properly. One is order maintenance issues, which you see up here. And then to compound that, you have some violent stuff going on on the strip every now and then. And it's just, you know, they just exacerbate each other. So um, that's the issues that we're looking at right now primarily. And uh, let's, can we pop up the first? Uh, okay, so this, is, this first study is 25 officers and two supervisors. And what we're doing here is, is all around the, the community on both sides of the strip, we're gonna block anybody from coming in. So you can't, you can't, you don't have access to park back in the neighborhoods with this plan. It calls for 25 officers a night. I don't think from a, from a financial perspective that's sustainable, unless the bar owners wanna pay for it. But. So, sorry, I know there's bar owners in here, I'm just kidding. So the second one is 15 officers. And, we, and, and we're just blocking um, both sides of the strip from going back to the neighborhoods, but that, that leaves the whole backside of each, well, of, the, of the, that side of the strip open, so I don't know that that's all that effective. And then the third one is probably sustainable. We got seven officers, one supervisor, but where you see the X's, they're all barricades. And, and that would effectively keep people out of the neighborhood. Now, will it be an inconvenience to the residents who want to get in and out? Not really, because you can just get out and move the barricades if you want. Nobody's going to holler at you if you do that. But that, to me, is the most sustainable from a, from a, from a resource uh, perspective. Um, we can try that and see how it works. Um, there, there's also the options of we could 
give out two yellow cards or a yellow card for people who live there and they want to come back and forth and they can have that to show the officer if they get stopped from moving a barricade. But that, that's about the best I could come up with right now. Or, and, and again, anybody want to yell at Chris for these? Okay. So that's, that's about the best we can come up with right now. But, I, but, but the issue here is people going from the strip into the neighborhoods after the bars close and after the food truck shut down. If we do this, it'll probably impact that to some degree.